Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to uh, have a collection overview of the pens I used the most for the 2018 era. Um, I always make a post for the blog with the pens that are inked for every week. And so I have the pens, I can now make the statistics and see the pens I use the most for all the weeks, for the 52 weeks of 2018. So let's take a look. About this, I could make uh, th three different statistics. One is the brand, the, is the brand that I use the most. And I have chosen the four brands at, that I use the most. And uh, in a surprisingly fourth place, there is Super 5. Super 5 is a German brand that makes these very inexpensive pens that are quite nice for drawing and to use their permanent ink, waterproof ink. Um, and I received them for review. And because they are so simple to use, they uh, between the four colors they have been in use in many of the weeks. So Super 5 pens were used in 59, uh, 59 times. Then the other brand that I really love, and we have a partnership with them in the blog, and they sometimes send some pens for us to review. It is this, the Montegrappa. Uh, about the Montegrappa, they sent some pens for review and I use them. There are pens that I love a lot and I love them so much that I even went and bought this one for me, special and limited edition of the Montegrappa Oriental Zodiac. And this is a very nice, very nice brand. And it was in use 67 times. Then the second place goes to Parker that was used 108 times and they have many models that I really like. Particularly the Parker do fold these modern ones. I really love these pens. And the first place goes to, and this is not hard to guess, because they have a collaboration with the blog and they have a, a program to help bloggers to spread their work and their products uh, I received some pens for review and the brand is Kavec and I really love their pens as you know and I collect Kavec sports these were the four most used brands but there is another statistic which is interesting because it's not totally overlapping with this one which is the brands that contributed with more different pens, more different models that I used. And in this uh, list, I have another four pens and which are different. The, 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 in the last place, in the, the fourth place, there was Lamy, where I used six different models through 2018. Then, in third place, there was Pilot with seven uh, different pens. In the third place, in the second place, sorry, there was Parker with 12. And in first place, Caveco with 25 different pens. So lots of pens from Caveco, vintage or new. And let's go to the final statistics that I made which was the specific pen that the four most used specific pens and in fourth place i have a pen that i really loved and that i would have been using uh, until the end of the year and i just didn't because this one came by and the pen that was in 25 of the 40 of the 60 the 52 weeks 
was this one. I have a review on the channel about this one. This is the Montegrappa, Montegrappa fountain pen in coral. And this is a very nice color, very nice pen. This is a piston filler that has that ratcheted mechanism for the piston. Very beautiful pen, a vintage look and very good nib to write with. I just replaced it by this one at some time in the year and that's why this is not one of this is not higher on the ranking because I really love this pen. So in the fourth it is the Montegrappa Montegrappa Coro. If you want please check the review. The third pen on this list is also an Italian pen. But it is a pen that I don't have it anymore because it was uh, on my hands as a loan from Aurora and the pen is the Aurora Optima Flex Blue Limited Edition. It is a pen with a flex nib and it was a very nice pen that I used for a very very long time and this long time was 27 weeks. So, I don't have it to show you now uh, in my hands, but you can al always check our review. On second place, we have a pen from Parker. And which is it? It is not the Parker Dufault that I love so much. It is a pen that surprised me a lot with the nib. I bought it in second hand in, here in Lisbon, in a store that I usually check. And it has this black finish. Um, it's not as black in every place. And it has this dark but not black nib. It is, it is really a, a beautiful pen. It is a cartridge converter, as usual with modern Parkers. It has a beautiful nib without the breather hole, which is not that common, it looks more like a, a waterman nib and it is a very very nice pen. It has a nib with some kind of a feedback on the paper that I really love and so this pen was used through 34 weeks out of the 52. And finally, in first place, there is a pen from Caveco, of course. And this pen from Caveco um, actually was some kind of a surprise. I thought it would be the Caveco AL Sport Stonewashed Blue. I don't know where it is, it's here. Which is a pen that I use almost every day on my pocket. But there was a time where I replaced these for the AL Sport Stonewashed Black that I also re received from Caveco. So, uh, this was the, it was not the Caveco that I used the most for 2018, but it was this one. Of course, it was because it is always on my everyday uh, pouch, everyday carry pouch, and this is the Caveco Lilliput, and it was used for 45 weeks out of the 52. This is a pen that is very very small as you can see compared with the other two very thin so it is very good fit in an edc pocket and it posts for a larger size to be able to be used and that's it very small pen with cartridges of course and it is so small that you can carry it everywhere and most of all it is very solid. It is made of solid copper, so you won't be able to ruin this pen easily. Um, additionally, this was not the pen that I used the most, but it was because it is in my pocket and I use when I need it, but not the, the pen that I write with more. But this was the pen that was inked almost every year. So it is on the first place. Uh, this video has also uh, a blog post with some photos. Um, 
I hope you like this. This is the first time that I do this in video. I always do it like a, a simple blog post. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this is helpful for you, maybe for you to choose or even to decide to try some of these pens. I hope you liked it. I wish you a very nice 2019. Please come back for more videos throughout the new year. Very glad to be with you today. Hope to have your visit in the future also. See you next time. Bye.